Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to talk about a brand new drone my friends at Eris sent me, the Eris X210S. Eris's brand new bind and fly racing quad. <laughs> Is it just me or do British accents just make a drone review sound so much sexier? Yeah, baby, yeah! The Eris X210 was designed and geared more towards racing with a stretched X unibody five millimeter, that's right, five millimeter base plate, which normally we're, we're more accustomed to the four millimeter plates for most of our drones, but it does come with a five millimeter base plate. This thing will definitely be able to withstand high speed crashes into a race gate or the ground or a face. The components are protected by an aluminum cage, as you can see. Great protection for the camera as well. Um, it is also designed to carry a GoPro at, I believe, 30 degrees. The frame also comes from the factory with chamfered edges, which is super, super nice. That just makes the build look so much more appealing. And it also help, helps to protect from delamination and it is moderately more aerodynamic but for the most part, I just think it looks sexy. Inside the shell here, you will find the Flycolor Raptor S Tower, which is the upgraded version. It has the Omnibus F4. This one does have a 30 amp 4-in-1 ESC in there. It also has an Eris VT5804 48 channel VTX, which is switchable between 25 and 600 milliwatts and can be adjusted via the OSD. That it does come standard with a Runcam Swift 2, which that really needs no introduction. It's a great camera, it's tried and true. I've used it in pretty much all of my builds, so I'm glad they went with that. I did, however, switch out the lens because I hate the stock, I think, what, 1.5 millimeter? I don't, I don't even know how big it is, but I put the 2.5 in there just because I like a wider field of view. I believe they do have another version of this that comes with a Foxier camera in it. I'm not entirely sure what, but it does come with a Fox here and it does come with a 2.5 millimeter lens. I have never personally used one of these and actually this is the first time I've even seen one of these. It's a Foxier Lollipop which plugs directly into the VTX here. Um, there's really nothing but a coaxial cable with the antenna itself. RHCP of course. Um, very, very cool. I, I doubt it'll give me any trouble with reception. Nowadays, Pretty much every antenna that comes out nowadays works the way it should, and I've really got no preference. These are the Eris X2206 2450 KV. Don't know if you can see that there. 2450 KV motors. Um, they're really, really coggy, which I like. That kind of reminds me of the Emax motors, the old classic um, red bottom motors, which I pretty much started with when I started building my quads. So. I'm pretty sure these are going to be more than substantial enough to carry this little guy around and rip it up just like any other motor out there would. So I think we've showed off the quad enough. Um, I'll leave a link to their website so that you can check out all the specs to it if you're interested. Um, all of this, I tallied all this stuff up guys and for the components that are in this and the price of the frame and the quality behind it. It came out to like $270 worth of stuff in here, including the run cam, the motors, the frame, the flight controller, well, the all-in-one flight controller stack, the VTX, you name it. All of that put together came out to like 280 bucks. So if you go to the link in my description and find this in there, just look at the price of it for one, because you're gonna be blown away that you get all of this for that price.
that's it for that. Um, it's about to start raining, so I had to cut it short, but I am really liking this quad. For a bind and fly, it flies really, really good. For my bottom, my first bottom slung battery quad, I really didn't notice too much of a difference. You can tell there's a little more weight at the bottom, so it kind of stabilizes a little easier, but other than that, it rips just fine. Um, it can definitely take a beating. Just make sure to follow the link in my description to Eris's website so you can check out this quad. Um, it really, really is a good deal. Like I said, it costs like $270 as far as all the components go, but for the price that Eris is charging for this thing, it's a steal. And yeah, you might want to invest in getting your own receiver. Um, the one they have in here, I noticed a couple fail safes, but I think it's just a really cheap FR Sky, probably the $15 FR Sky um, receiver. So if I got behind myself, I noticed it would kind of, you know, fail safe, but I would catch it obviously, but yeah. So if you like the video, if you like the review, make sure to like it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more because I will be doing more reviews on this thing and there might possibly be a giveaway on this little guy right here. So stay tuned for that as well. In any case, thanks for watching. Love you.